G'day everyone, my name's Grabs and welcome back to another Minecraft adventure map cross horror map thing. Uh, this time we're playing The Smiling Prince, which from what I can tell is a short psychological horror walking simulator map by Diamond Zoid. So I have no idea what to expect from this one. But while you're here, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you would like to, you can follow me on my Twitter at underscore Grabs to see what I'm up to when I'm not doing videos. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get stuck into the map. All right, here we are. I hope you're ready to do some walking because this has been called a walking simulator. I hope it's short. I don't like to walk that far. <laughs> I'm so unfit. Who's this happy chappy? All right, hello, hello. Whoa. Hello, I am the Smiling Princess. My Smiling Prince is lost. Can you help me find him? Well, I guess. This is a bit creepy. Let's just go this way. I'm automatically hopping. Are you the prince, sir? This way. Oh, this is kind of weird. Onwards, down the yellow wool road. Mini cloud parkour. Oh my god. Hang on a second. Are they... <laughs> They hanged themselves? Oh my god. This is just taking a a turn for the worse. Hop down the clouds. I guess you could have just went around the pond. Yeah, well that was cooler. Hmm. This music's like oddly creepy and like happy at the same time and I'm not sure how to feel about that. Jump. No, press me. Oh, come on. You know that means I'm going to press it. Come on. I'm doing it. Oh. Oh no. I don't like this. Is it going to be a jump scare? I'm not ready for it. For that. <laughs> Whoa. I've been withered. I wonder what happens if I... If I jumped. Was I supposed to jump? I don't know, because there was that guy who hanged himself. Does this just go on forever? Have I broken it? Oh. oh, I didn't see you there. Rainbow Citizen. Hello. Oh, we're going this way down the red path. That sounds ominous and creepy. I feel quite uneasy. <laughs> because I don't know what to expect. It feels too happy. But it's also quite weird. Do it. What, hang myself? Oh god. Why is this so morbid? Is there any other way I can go? I feel like I'm just breaking the map. Gosh. You can't leave that easy. Oh no. Too much room. Why do you wake up when the sun rises? Oh man. Do you have something to live for? Or do you wake up because it's how you're supposed to be?
Don't you need something real to live for? Wow. <laughs> Minecraft, everybody. Kids game. Now you can define what is worth living for. Or oh, how can you define... <laughs> well, just ruin the uh, impact of that line. Why is it so easy for you to care about something when everything is so temporary? This is a lot of uh, deep-seated questions. If your time is so temporary, why don't you use it to change the world? But why does the world matter if it's temporary? Oh my god. It's a paradox. Something has to be different eventually. Well, I hope so. Right? Sure. Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep walking or not. But I have no idea. I could just be walking into a wall right now. Hello. Rainbow people. Oh man. That's n oh. Was that always there? Or was I just looking at the sky like an idiot? Am I walking the right way? Oh, so many questions. Shut up me. Stop asking questions. Well, that's the start, I think. Maybe. Right, let's go this way. There's a path. You can see it, but it's there. All you have to do is take the first step. Wait a minute. Did I walk the wrong way? Was I walking the wrong way this whole time? I can see a path. Or is there a path? Hang on. Do you mean that it's like to the sides? Ah, yes. Wait. Ah, hello. Well, this is kind of creepy. No matter how far you plunge yourself into doubt, you will always be able to pull yourself back out as long as you trust that it will be different the next morning. There's always hope. Very wise words. Stuck in a box. There is invisible walls on all four sides. I can't jump. Can't do anything. Why am I just stuck in the void now? Is this my life? Box boy in the void. Well, I guess that's the end. It's not the uh, traditional ending. Well, that definitely wasn't horror per se. I'd say it kind of was a bit creepy. The music was creepy and rainbow people were hanging themselves off trees and telling me to kill myself. So that was pretty awful. The ending, I guess it made you think a bit. But uh, anyway, that was the Smiling Prince. Uh... There's a few more horror maps that I want to try. I've just got to find some actually really scary ones. There's one that I've heard of which is exceptionally well made. There's also a lot of videos about it. So I don't know if we should do some of the lesser known ones or not. But uh, if you have any ideas, just let me know in the comments below. And leave a like while you're down there if you enjoyed the video. 
thanks so much for watching. If you uh, have any ideas, as I said, please let me know. Or follow me on Twitter and let me know there. I will definitely be asking questions uh, as I go in between videos. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.